Well, one in four Canadians say that they can't afford the holidays this year, with the average Albertan budgeting just over $600. Financial expert Jasmine Mara joins us now to discuss. Good morning. Good morning, Andrea. Thank you so much for joining us. So I know that this will be a big topic here over the next month or so as we start to approach the holiday season. But a recent study has shown that at least 24 percent of Canadians will have to forego Christmas this year. And maybe you can take us through some of those latest statistics. That's right, Andrea. I think uh, this year has also been very challenging for everybody, but certainly as the holidays are upon us, we're starting to think about giving to our friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, but 64% this year said they don't um, or didn't save enough through the year to really be able to celebrate at the holidays. 46% um, said they don't plan their spending in advance, which I think we can all be guilty of sometimes. Of course. And for those that do have that budget, which that average is $643, about seven in 10 will go over budget. Mm -hmm. um, so it definitely uh, something to think about is, you know, giving and spending can be different things. Absolutely. And I think that is a great segue into the next question here is that the holidays will be looking a little bit different this year for a lot of families. So how exactly can we still give maybe by avoiding that financial hangover, say, the, the next day? Yeah, I think, um, you know, everybody deserves to be able to celebrate the holidays without that really big financial hangover that sometimes we can start to see creep up in January. Um, but um, one of the things to think about is really avoid overspending. I know it can be easy to slip into that, but having a budget and sticking to it and getting a little bit creative about how to celebrate the holidays is a great idea. And we do have a board with that too. You have some really great ideas for us here today to be a little bit more financially savvy with Christmas giving. So maybe you can take us through those. Yeah, I've got a few ideas. I think that can provide a little bit of holiday cheer without having that financial hangover as we talked about. Um, the first one is gift of time. And you might think, how are we gonna do that this year with the coronavirus? But certainly technology can kind of come to the rescue for this one. Mm -hmm. So whether that's a connect over Zoom or even getting a little bit more creative, you know, offering to um, shovel driveways or walk dogs. I mean, I know myself, I would love if someone offered to shovel my driveway for the winter. How <laughs> great would that be? Agreed. And another one, too, because you were mentioning is even just giving a gift from the heart. I think sometimes, too, people need to look outside of the monetary funds and do something maybe that's a little bit more meaningful, as you mentioned, even just doing a kind service like doing something like shoveling. Absolutely. Um, you know, a gift from the heart, whether that's, you know, baking some cookies or getting a little bit creative. Um, everybody loves something with a little bit of thoughtfulness behind it. Um, and that actually brings me to another idea, which is the gift of a letter. You know, for those that are far away or, um, you know, grandparents, they certainly love and appreciate this special touch. And if you have children, you can get them to actually create some artwork and put it in the post. Um, and it'll just cost you the, the stamp to really get it there. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, if you do have a great group of friends that you typically exchange gifts with, it's a great idea to consider a secret Santa where you can put all the names in a hat and then everybody gets to select one so that everybody gets a gift, but you're not kind of overspending for that group of people. Definitely. Lots of really good options there. And another thing too that people could consider since a lot of us are in a similar situation this year is maybe just doing something different. So maybe we can try and suggest an alternative like some of the ones that you mentioned. Absolutely. And I think the key here is just having the conversation early with your group of friends. So, you know, we're the end of November. So now's a great time to start that dialogue. And so whether it's you or someone else, you know, knowing that one in four people may have to forego celebrations, there's no question that people will likely welcome this conversation and be looking for some alternative to celebrate the holidays and get back to what that all kind of means together. Yeah, I think that's really well said. And lastly, we do have to wrap things up here, but we should actually start thinking about it now how we can start preparing and saving for next year. Absolutely, no question. It so sounds funny to start to save uh, this year for next year, but you know whether that's putting a little bit of money away each month starting now automatically in your bank, or even just picking up a gift card every time you do groceries, it can really put you in a better financial position um, for the holidays um, in 2021. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today, Jasmine. Lots of really good ideas there for people at home. For anybody looking for a little bit more information, they can head online to bromwichandsmith.com. Have a nice day. Debt Real Talk with Bromwich and Smith. Free confidential debt relief consultations.